Kang grows restless. He was promised difficulty, challenge. Protecting a flat skin in the Borderlands is no easy task. They are weak and pathetic after all. But the more he's wandered with Rustilt, the more he realizes that caution is the name of the game with this group. Or perhaps it's because he has an unhorned, whispering sweet nothings into his ear. Even Kang can see it. But they're always cautious about where they travel, retreat when things get too difficult, and only take fights they're certain they can win. That is not the way of a Shek warrior. A Shek takes on combat, even if the odds are against them. To test himself, honor above all else. Never retreat, and never surrender. And so, he makes it known. It is time they equip themselves. It is time they wander the borderlands and not run from every fight, even if it's a losing one. It's time they begin to attack the Dust Bandits head on. It's another day of planning, though I don't think it'll be an entire session of planning, but we have some downtime work we actually do need to accomplish here, not only in Squin, but in the general borderlands, and the dead bodies all over the place are rather hilarious. Um, but the big thing right now is if we've come to the realization, as have Rustle and friends, is that starving bandits are actually as bad as we had hoped they would be. They're not difficult to fight, they're actually very easy for us to take down in large numbers, and they're no longer posing a threat. So what's the next step? Who do we have our sights on next? And that is quite easy. The Dust Bandits. Those are our main goals and targets right now. Taking on Dust Bandits and removing them to the best of our capabilities, at least from the, uh, the Borderlands. How are we going to do that? Well, we have to fight them. We have to take the Forgotten to the best of our abilities and go out hunting them and seeing if we can actually put up a fight. But it's not as easy as that. We are decently equipped to at least survive the wastelands, but if we were to become an army or a wandering militia or a patrol of a sort under Rustholt's command, the type of gear we're currently wearing are, is not good enough. We need a lot better stuff to manage, I think, a group of dust bandits. So we find ourselves, and Rustilt specifically, inside the armorer's shop here in Squin. We're gonna be taking a look at the armor, but most importantly, I think, what we're gonna end up doing is buying blueprints. Blueprints for much, much better armor, and hopefully having our dear friend uh, Hobbs working on it. He has become quite the armor smith as we've left him back in Squin. His passion has really flourished here. And so I think we're just going to go ahead and spend a lot of money on buying the blueprints for a lot of different um, armors, probably just all of the ones that they have. We can't afford these for some reason. Oh, because we spent all of our money on all of these. Um, but we can go ahead and say mm, 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 and learn all of those. In the meanwhile, swing back to Hobbs and take a look at this, or should I say inventory, and see what we've got here. Let's let's change up the queue a little bit. Uh, we don't need these so much anymore. Instead, we can start working on better things here. Leather armor, um, especially stuff to replace everybody else. So if we take a look at the Forgotten, the question then becomes, who do we want to replace uh, the armor with? Drifters and all that, maybe not a bad thing. We could probably hook them up with something better, like Trader's Leathers. Um, or even like a leather jacket. Why samurai cloth pants are here, I'm not sure. It's considered light, but it's considered leather at the same time. We can compare it real quick. Uh, blunt resistance is not going to be nearly as good. Cut resistance will be e the same. Same thing with cut resistance efficiency. Harpoon resistance, eh, whatever, not a big deal. We haven't really come across harpoons except for that one time where I put uh, our boy Hobbs right in front of a harpoon and he got eliminated. So all of this stuff is actually not supremely valuable. It's good to have, but it's not great. So we're going to have to grind out, I think, quite a bit. Uh, there we go. Oop. He's going to go ahead and put these in. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to send Fall over here. We need to sell off what we've got. Here we go. We'll 
pause it real quick and I'm actually just gonna go ahead and swing over here click on that I don't know why it does that every single time so why don't we just go ahead and grab all of that or not there we go sell it and we all already have 6,000 uh, cats all over again so that should send him right on out back to work which is fine and we're gonna just kind of have to let this happen for a little while uh, show them my gear and we're just gonna have to let us uh, continue to grind up as best we can as well as selling what we got uh, when we can when we can get hold of it so that's what we're gonna be spending some time here doing and in the meanwhile we'll uh, we'll continue building our barracks up as well as we are gonna need that pretty pretty badly we're gonna take the Forgotten off to the hub. We're gonna visit the Ninja's Towers. Mostly because we wanna see if we can afford anything there that's valuable, but um, also to see if we can get our dear friend Silvershade properly equipped with some stealth equipment, including a Ninja's backpack or a Thieves' backpack. Hopefully we walk away with not only a newly equipped... Hopefully we walk away with not only a newly equipped Silvershade, but one that will be hard to detect from here on out. Welcome back to the hub. Everybody's favorite home away from home. I'm curious who's sitting around, if anybody uh, useful is hanging here. Pin, stone, ugly bar thug, you know, my favorite. Bland, and a pacifier. So nobody's supremely interesting. Mission success, at least partially. We've got a couple more ninja backpacks on our dear friends here. Silvershade got the first one. Kang actually ended up grabbing the second one, um, but there's no more left for sale uh, for those for the salespeople here. They're actually gone. He he left. I don't know. He must have gone downstairs without me paying attention. Weirdly enough, um, but that's the only ones they had. We bought that, but we also did get blueprints for ninja rags while we were here. And back home, I have Hobbs actually working on the first set for our friend, our dear friend, our dear, dear friend, Silver Shade. Eager to see how that's going to end up going and how that's going to look for us uh, once all all is equipped and all is said and done. But that's going to be it for our adventure out to here in the hub. Let's swing by the bar, see if there's anything worth grabbing while we're here. A few other things that could go a long way. Um, building supplies is a big one. We actually bought some of them while we're here. We want to stock up because we want to get all those beds up and running and finished. No more here. Um, some shoddy stuff. Ooh, we do have a, st uh, a standard junk bow. Don't know if I really give a shit if it's standard. Um, but I think for now, we're actually going to go back to Squin um, after having made a little bit of money. And we're going to see how that armor actually ends up turning out because Hobbs is such a good armor smith now. And if it doesn't turn out all that well, we can work on the next one and the next one until he at least produces a standard fare uh, one. Well, a trip to the hub and back to Squin in one piece and safely is not as rare as it used to be. It seems to be kind of regular for our friends here, but we did make it. And now the question is, has Hobbs finished his rags yet the one we're going to be slapping on silver shade here so he could be a bit stealthier maybe a little bit quicker and more effective at what he does and if he did finish the armor is it any good the other thing i really want to work on is making sure everybody that in my in my uh, outgoing band has at least standard quality gear if they have something important like pants that are shoddy i'd like to replace those if possible um, right now, Silvershade needs some new pants. Stone needs new uh, chest armor by a lot. We might queue up something here. And then everybody else is actually fine. Um, everybody else has, has standard quality stuff, except for, I think, our boy Rust Hilt here. Uh, other than that, I guess just weaponry would need to be upgraded, but I think we're okay where our weapons are as of right now. We can show them our gear. We're fine. Um, but let's swing in. Let's see if Hobbs has finished his project. Uh, let's swing into here. And let's slow down time a little bit. Hobbs is still not working anymore. Standard grade. That's fantastic. Inventory. So the other thing I want to queue up then is some pants of a sort. Well, we also need a drifter's leather jacket, right? Yeah, so why don't we go ahead and say drifter's leather jacket for sure. And then for... Drifter's leather pants we actually don't have. But we can go ahead and say samurai cloth pants for now. And uh, 
Hobbs should get working on that pretty soon. But let's go inventory. Let's send Silver Shade up top real quick. We'll speed things along. We'll go ahead and grab that, and we're going to throw it on him. And then we can put these away. They're not bad, but the stealth effect is, like, while it's good, look at that. Look at how insane that is. Oh, my God. I didn't realize. And that's just standard quality. Suddenly, we're looking quite, quite, quite good. He's going to start working on that. He looks like a schlub, but a schlub wearing some really, really cool clothing. And he's starting to look really neat overall. So we'll swing Silver Shade back down here. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop that in the other side. I don't think Trader's Leathers? Um, or Pants, rather. Do we have any any pants that are, are acceptable? None. None at all. That's all right, though. This this is going to be huge for us. And with the stealth backpack on as well, we're going to have a lot, a lot of benefits here. He's going to be quite the stealth guy. His stealth is already now going to be at 26. We can even send him out to just kind of wander around. Look, he's got that Naruto run running, but we can send him out here and just have him run around. And uh, if we really wanted to get grindy, which I have done off camera quite a bit, uh, we can just kind of do this a bunch. And his, his stealth stat will climb very, very quickly. As you can see. Not something I really want to do, and I plan on not doing this, but for now, uh, it'll work. Where's Ruka? I want Ruka. Let's get Ruka over here. She needs to start working on some beds. So let's make sure she's buying the fabrics that she needs to be working on the beds. And then I want Kang to go ahead and trade with Ruka and have her working on this. Uh-oh. There we go. And Kang can bodyguard in the process. Dust bandits are causing a problem, but more importantly, why is there a dust, the dust boss up here? All right, we need to slow things down for a minute. Who's here? Who is in the building? Stone and Rust Hilt? Let's have them swing up and attack him. Silver Shade as well, please. I'm hoping that's going to be enough. We don't want him sneaking anymore. But we have the Dust Bandit boss here attacking. Rust Hilt's immediately going to match him one-on-one. -on -one. It looks like he's going to swing down here and have a, a, a stair fight. Unfortunately for them, it's he's going to be outnumbered very quickly. And, and actually down he falls. Stone. Let's go ahead and take the horse chopper, the standard grade helmet. Let's go ahead and just steal all of this. And we'll have him run across and, and be taken care of. Whoop, there goes his body. But for right now, Rust Hilt is, is doing what he needs to do. In the meanwhile, where are you going? You're going to bed. That's fair. That's fair. Everybody's going to rest right now. Stone, hold up, homie. I want you to sell what you picked up and looted. Looks like the Dust Bandits tried to mount an attack on Squin and miserably failed. And luckily for us, those who are attacking us also miserably failed. And now Fall is actually being uh, overrun by starving bandits. Uh, an eventful uh, few moments here in Squin. Dust bandits and then starving bandits. But luckily for Fall, it ain't going to be that big of a deal. There's not much they can do. We can kind of just run up to the guards. And the guards will do what they always do, which is defend the shit out of us. There they go. And then Fall will, I guess, run back. We'll see if they end up coming around. I think they're just leaving. They're just walking the deserts in desperate hope for food. Unfortunately for them, there's not much here. But Fall will continue doing what he's doing. And he actually made a high grade uh, leather jacket. Drifter's leather jacket. So we can actually go ahead and swap out real quick and now he's got a high grade one instead of a low grade one which does not seem to do much else other than its resistances are nicer but that essentially finishes gearing out our little squad of folks so uh let's have them come out this way where the fighting has been happening like crazy stone i don't want you going to heal you need to come out here what i want to do is go through all their armor so oh my god eh, stone stone Stone, stop trying to go to bed, homie. I know you're very tired because you're hurt, but don't worry about it. So, we'll go through their armor. Standard, standard, shoddy pants, which we don't have any way to answer for quite yet. 
stone, high grade, high grade, standard grade, and then just a straw hat, which we can eventually replace. Standard, standard, high grade, and then the sandals. Standard, 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 standard. All right, and then standard, standard, shoddy, and his weapon. All right, we're actually equipped. Now we need to fight something. Ooh, let's fight the Garu. This is food. I'm excited to see if this works. So immediately, let's actually start attacking unprovoked. I want to have Rust Tilt off to the side attacking this one. Silver Shade, I would rather him, you know, stay on that one. Stone can do his thing. I want Kang uh, maybe taking on one of these. Can we take on Garu or are they just too much for us right now? Holy good God. Look at how hard they hit. Down Rust... Uh, Downfall Silver Shade. The youngest one, we've we've taken out both of its legs, so he's doing a fine job with that. It's the big boys that are actually demolishing us right now. Holy crap. I mean, their attacks are only 21. Their defense shouldn't be that high. Our numbers should be plenty. If we take a look, we're still swinging at a 21 defense, or minus fucking 12. Weather, weather penalty, 16. Okay, well... The injuries are a bit bad. All right, well, there's a weather penalty. Be Apparently there's a dust storm. I didn't realize it. It's a little late now, but down they're gonna fall. We're gonna take this fight, but only because the Sheck guard, there was a Sheck guard nearby to take it. I was really hoping to get into this fight without a Sheck guard, but so be it. Man, this look at him. He's still going. He's actually doing a lot of damage to the Sheck guard here. Well, maybe not that much. My good lord. Well, we won the fight, but not because we're any good, but because that's just how it went down. But we got a bunch of food. Rust Tilt, why aren't you healing your friend here? Oh, is he already fully healed? He just needs to be picked up. All right. Well... Let's pick him up. Silver Shade also needs to be picked up. I don't want to kidnap the Garu. I just... Alright, move the Garu. <laughs> Place him down over here. Pick up our boy Silver Shade. And, uh... Well, let's run back. <laughs> but... Well, it was an excursion, alright? It was an excursion. That we can be honest about. And it was a technically successful excursion. We can also be honest about that, but in the end, we could have done a lot better. Flip side, we got a lot of food. I think we'll have to wait for the weather to calm down before we end up going out again. Something that I haven't quite figured out yet. Feeling a little bit better. I think it's time Silvershade tried out his new garb. Too curious to see if he can get away with more now that he has a thieves backpack and proper attire to help him hide. Hello. Off he goes. And now we can be seen. But we actually picked that lock in one go. And we can't actually... I don't know how he sees us still. That's actually insane. Now we can't. Can we come up here? Whoop. I didn't open that. Can he go in? Will he get in trouble if he goes in? He can't be so. Oh. He technically can't be seen. I'm not quite sure how that's working. If that's working as intended. But I'm, I'm actually want to look around and see what's in here. First aid kits. Ha hacksaws. I'm looking for... Things like fabrics, yes. I want fabrics really bad. I'm going to take the fabrics. Fabric. Nothing worth taking here or here. Definitely want to pick this lock. Being quiet and a thief 
Seems to be what comes very naturally to him. A string of cats. Interesting. Not worth taking. Can't pick that safe yet. Can't pick that either. What's here? I want, I want to know what this is. Can I not click on it? Hmm. Not worth risking the high percentage chance, but the building material, that's worth grabbing. We can send, we're basically looking to take all of these to uh, Ruka. So she can have, you know, plenty of stuff to build with. So we're going to go over here and trade to Ruka real quick. So she can get working. Off he goes. His stealth is at like almost a 30. His thievery is at a 14, which is not very high. But he can easily swap over to her. And off she goes. And for now, he can keep using this and cooking up that dried meat. Ruka just needs to put these to, to use now before it becomes too late. All right, and there's our new, our brand new cloth pants as well. High grade from Hobbs. Fantastic. Hobbs, you are a man, an impeccable, impeccable craftsman, I have to admit. Very, very impressed with the work that you've put out. That being said, Ruka is now going to rest up a bit. I want her to fully heal before we head out. And then after that, I think we're going to have her disarm her backpack. We'll go ahead and throw that in her inventory for now. Um, or even just throw it on the ground, I guess. Here, we'll throw it in here. Sleep. I don't know where you're going. Sleep. All right. And now that they're fully healed, let's head out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening here? More dust bandits. Surprise, surprise. I want to go on patrol. I think it's time we see if we can actually make this work. Can we actually do damage to the dust bandits without risking our lives to the point of death? Can we take on a group of them without worrying uh, too much beyond what we already know? And I think our best bet is to just kind of head out and see if we can come across them on our own. Brand new equipped, minus any new weaponry, but brand new armor. Uh, taking off our backpacks and, and other than some thieves' backpacks. Oops, I forgot to take this off. Uh, shit. Stone, come back. Hang on. Whoa, we're being attacked already. Really? We're being attacked? By starving bandits? All right, quick, run over here. I want Rust Tilt and friends to, and plus stone. To swing out over here. I want everybody here to remain passive. And I want the forgotten. Except for stone, where are you? Not on passive. And I want you to just run in and take him out. First in Rust Hill. Everybody's going in. Rust Hill takes out his katana. And bang, let's get into a fight. Wow, Rust Hill actually got hit. Oh, you're pathetic, Rust Hill. Absolutely beyond pathetic. Stone is going to start popping shots from a distance. Yep, as you can see, doing quite a lot of damage here. I can't believe Rust Hill got beat up as bad as he did. Kang is actually taking a hell of a beating as well. Whereas everybody else is doing okay. Silvershade taking a hell of a hit, too. Though he's going to be moving a lot quicker and hopefully doing a lot more damage. Look at that. Just constant uh, overloaded here. I want you here. Rust Hill coming in from the side. Down they drop. Where are they going? They're moving in on more enemies. They're attacking Heft. Heft is down. Uh, being immediately attacked by more starving bandits. But Rust Hilton friends are going to move in. Stone prepping his, himself to take more shots. I'm going to move him to flank. So hopefully he doesn't accidentally pop a shot into like Silver Shade or something. Silver Shade, I want you to pull back. And I want you to go after him. 
Rustle and Ruka fighting it side by side, back to back. They're actually not all that damaged. Doing quite a bit of a, quite a number on these five starving bandits over here. Now Stone forced to draw his sword to defend himself one on one after them. The person he's been shooting, not going to be that much of a problem, unfortunately. And a baseball bat swing from Kane in the back, immediately taking one out while damaging another. And Silver Shade only fighting with one arm right now, which is a little bit concerning. Uh, and his stomach is bleeding profusely. Rust Tilt swinging over, and actually the guards have finally shown up. Wow, that was rough, incredibly so. The rest are gonna be taken care of. One's crawling away, Rust Tilt not allowing the uh, crimes against his friends to be gone, gotten away with, no matter how crippled they are. Just gonna continuously attack until they're all fallen over. And then Rust Tilt gonna go ahead and do what he does best, which is heal those that he can. Uh, let's pull Kang and Ruka back. Uh, Rust Tilt saving uh, his arm before anything terrible can happen to it. I'm hoping that his arm is is in the process of healing. It is. And Rust Tilt is going to go ahead and take care of the rest. Heft is on the ground and bleeding out. But Rust Tilt not to leave his friends behind. Going to do the best he can. Where Stone is just eating, I guess. Good for Stone but he should be out here. Once these are all healed to the best of our capabilities, we'll go ahead and take somebody. Oh, Heft is up. Heft is up and he's going mining. Heft. <laughs> Heft. I can't have you doing that, man. Uh, Are we out of healing? We have healing. He's all healed up, actually, so we're just going to have to let Rust Hill do what he's going to do. He's going to go play medic for somebody else now. Nines, who's in dire need of uh, being healed up. His head actually got beaten quite badly. But on the bright side, for those who did get beaten up... Oh, Heft. You need a little bit of... You need a little bit of help. For those who did get beaten up, at least it's gonna help their toughness. So let's go ahead and pick him up. We did not get far with this patrol. And two, two... people. Our two b bands of starving bandits actually put up a quite a fight there. What is? Where are you going? Attacking troublemakers, more hungry bandits. Kang and Heft. Uh, oh, we're being attacked again. Well, I mean that's maybe putting it a little bit too <laughs> too dramatic. Dramatically, attacked. No. Hurt. Maybe a little bit. Um, but we were able to take them out very, very quickly. And we need to swing back immediately and uh, lie down and heal. It's good to con continually be patrolling like we are. But we are in, in dire need of healing up here. Heft needs to sleep. Heft, you, you can't get up until you're done. Done healing, anyway. Where is everybody? Here they come. In the meanwhile, we still should go buy whatever equipment we can and gear we can with the money we've been making. So first, we're going to go ahead and say this, and we will go ahead and sell all of it. And then I want Fall. Actually, let Fall kind of do what he's doing. I want uh, Ruka, wherever Ruka can be found. There she is, to swing in here and do what she does best, which is buy cloth, because we need to get these beds finished up. This party heals, and Kang does what Kang does best, guard. He has been pleased lately, however. And while Kang may have been worried the first few days he was with them, they seemed cautious and scared. Now, he sees the value in protecting these flat skins. Not only is he seeing so much honorable combat, but the flat skins themselves seem to be able to hold their own much better than he was expecting them to. The crew is back up and running, and a bunch of uh, starving bandits are getting away. I think I'm going to send them in and finish them off before we do a proper patrol. Swing in and try and knock them all out as fast as we possibly can. Worthy of at least removing the the, band, the hungry bandits from the area before we push onward. I'm going to have Rust Hilt turn and face, and Ruka joins Rust Hilt every time. 
The weather is prevent isn't preventing us from taking good shots either. Stone taking a going two on one over here. Kang, however, finishing up what he had and moves in to try and finish them off instead before they can do too much to Stone. We're going to back Stone up a bit. And we can stay right here as he layers some shots in. Easy. Except for Stone, who once again gets hurt. We have a situation. It seems Fall is being attacked by a Bone Dog. And the Bone Dog itself is just patrolling. It is just a wild Bone Dog, unfortunately. We woke up who we could to bring him out this way. Once again, Starving Bandits seem to be getting the best of, uh, or rather the guards are getting the best of them. Let's get Rust Hill over here to get Fall up. The Bone Dog... I'm actually just want to send Kang and Ruka after. I want to see if they can handle it. Two on one. Bone Dog has a 26 attack, or 24 attack and a 26 defense. Kang is 25 and 19. Ruka is 24 and 26. Pull him back for a minute. Oh, they're actually just going in. Let's go. I can't believe how insanely tough bone dogs are. We'll do what we always do, though. Ruka can come over here. And we will absolutely skin it and uh, cut it up alive. Meanwhile, Rust Tilt's taking care of himself. Fall, I hope, is okay. Not looking so good. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pick Fall up. And swing out this way. Squint is dangerous, man. And the Borderlands are no effing joke. Well, it may seem like not a whole lot has happened. Uh, and I have certainly been recording for close to an hour and 45 or so minutes. I would argue quite the opposite, actually. While not a lot of action has happened beyond constant hunger bandit attacks, which have worked in our favor quite nicely, and a bone dog, of course. The most important thing is that we are as well equipped as we ever have been. We have a specialist who works primarily in stealth, fully kitted out in a stealth outfit, and everybody else is wearing good to uh, decent armor, or should I say decent to good armor. We actually are put ourselves in a position where we can take on much, much more than we used to be able to. And we plan on trying to do that. However, the time to remain in Squin is no longer. Our group of heroes heads out into the borderlands, looking actively for dust bandits, something they have never truly done before. To patrol the borderlands and look for those who cause the most trouble with a confidence that they can take them, though not unwounded. And if they must go, group by group, dust bandit by dust bandit, slowly but surely removing them from the borderlands. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Especially for Kang, who thirsts for blood, vengeance, honorable combat, and to remove the threats from Squin and the Shek themselves. He is incredibly eager to place his blade firmly in the skull of the Dust Bandit.